I try to share with the kids what I lived and learned in my 31 years as a DEA agent. Rocky Heron travels the world to tell young people about the dangers of drug abuse. Uh, in the DEA, we don't investigate drug users, we investigate drug traffickers. But when you're investigating drug traffickers, you have to see what drugs do to individuals and families, our communities, our country, and the broader world. The now informative motivational speaker tries to relate to students right where they are. I, I talk to the kids, I don't talk at them, they thank me for that. And many kids will come up to me and say, Rocky, wow, you know, I've been told not to use drugs many times. Yours is the first program that taught me why not to use drugs. Drug overdoses have become more prevalent over the years with more first responders using an increasing amount of Narcan, which reverses the effects of opioid overdoses. Fentanyl, a drug we've heard a lot about, is right here in the gym state, even causing Governor Little last year to launch Operation Esto Perpetua at cracking down on the flow of drugs like fentanyl and meth. An amount about the size of a ladybug can be deadly. Prevalent in our schools all over the country, and it's so powerful that some students are dying the first time they use it. Locally, overdoses have been on the rise. Nampa PD has had uh, 25 overdoses since Christmas that they've responded to. The internet making it easier to get a hold of these types of drugs. So, you know, when I was a kid, if a child wanted to go get drugs, they had to go leave the home. They had to go somewhere to find an actual person to do a transaction. Now, a child, a teenager in a bedroom can order the drugs up online pay for it online, and somebody will bring it in and drop it off at the house. And the parents have no idea that this transaction has gone on. Rocky encourages parents to be educated on these topics and actively be engaged in their child's education about the dangers of drug abuse. I keep reading declarations from government leaders who say parents need to educate their kids. Well, that's great, except I do parent events for school districts all across San Diego here, and typically the turnout is dismal. We'll get 1% of the parents in the school district to show up. So my experience is parents are not engaging and educating their kids. So that's why my work is in the school. The saying goes, knowledge is power, but it can also save a life. In Boise, Jake Garcia, Idaho News 6.